Hi, I'm Antonio of Freefall Studios. I'm a producer based in London, and recently I've needed to figure out a way to record artists remotely. I've seen a few videos on the topic, but for me, the most straightforward way has been using a plugin called Audio Movers. In this video, I'll show you my workflow, run through the setup, and give you the relevant templates for all major doors. I'll also link all of the plugins I use in the description below. But just to clarify, I'm not sponsored by or affiliated with any of these companies. So let's get into it. I've gone ahead and opened up the producer session here, and I'm gonna run through the tracks from the top of the session just very very briefly. We've got a talkback track, which is what you can see me talking on here. This is going to be sent off to the artist, a click track, and our mix bus send. The mix bus send is an important channel because that's the auxiliary we'll send all of our audio to when we want the artist to perform along. The cloud send is going to be the send to the artist, and on that we'll insert the audio movers transmit plugin, the cloud receive channel. This is going to have the receiver plugin inserted on it, and that's going to be us receiving audio incoming from the client once we've made the connection. This channel is then routed down to two record enabled tracks, which is where we will record the incoming audio from the artist. Below that, I also have two playback tracks ready so that once we have compensated for the delay, which we'll get into in a bit, you can then play that artist audio back to them by sending these channels to the mix bus send. Finally, in the template, we have our mix bus play. Now, this is going to be our master output one and two for us to monitor audio, and we're going to stick a delay plugin on that. The delay plugin is so that we can offset our local playback audio with the incoming audio from the artist. To do that and work out what the delay is, we're going to need to make a call. So let's go ahead and do that. Hey Ryan, how you doing? Yeah, I'm good, man. How are you? Good, thank you. Can I get you to please open up the artist session in Logic? Mm -hmm. And if you can just jump into the listen to plugin. If you want to jump into the receiver first, I'm going to log in and send you a link. So I'm going to do that by logging in, starting transmission, and copying my link. If you can go ahead and paste that into the receive plugin for me. And just to confirm, can you hear me? I can, yeah. Great. Can I also get you to start your transmission and copy and send me your link? So I'm just going to go ahead and copy your link, paste it in here, and hit connect. Do you just want to go ahead and tap your mic, for me? Go ahead and tap your mic for me? Great. I've got you Great. there. I can I've see you coming there. through. So I'm going to go ahead and mute my FaceTime audio. If you can do the same, please. Excellent. So now you are coming through on my headphones and I should be coming through on your headphones. That's correct. Yeah. Great. So first thing we're going to do is if I can ask you to please open up your cloud receive and turn on bus three. Yep. So bus three is a send back to myself of my incoming audio to Ryan. And I'm using that to work out the delay between when I sent him audio and when it came back. So to do that, I'm gonna to tap to transient or you can just zoom in and jump up to the wave file. I'm gonna click on it. And then at the top of the session here, you'll see the length, it says 1859. So we're gonna remember that number. I'm gonna go ahead and punch that into my delay. So it's gonna be one second, 860 milliseconds. And I'm also gonna go ahead and put that into my nudge value up here. So now, before we go any further, if I can just get you to clap along for me with the incoming click track, please, Ryan. Mm -hmm. So if you can wait for four clicks and then clap on beats one and three. Great, thank you. Now, if this is correct, we should be able to nudge this back and have Ryan in time with our grid. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna hit nudge, and I'm gonna drag this down to the playback track. Now you can already see that this is pretty close. So let's go ahead and play that back. And Ryan, can you confirm you can hear yourself playing along with the click track? Great, so that's how we work out the latency. Now, one thing to note is the latency may actually change as your session goes on. So what I've tend to do in my workflow is right before we're doing a major set of takes, we'll do the click test again, and then we'll do all of our punch-ins immediately after that. Now that said, I've also gone ahead and imported one of the tracks Ryan and I are working on here. And what we're gonna to do today is I'm actually gonna have Ryan sing along with the track and do a couple of takes. It's gonna be a count of eight and then you're straight in. Girl, 
you lie by phone and slide into my world uh, Cause I need a bit of clothes now Girl, it's been way too long since my hands outlined your curves Can't you come back? Cause you know that when we That's great, man. And so to play that back to you, I'm going to go ahead and nudge this back, drop it down to the playback track. Great. And so let's do one more test. We're going to go ahead and do a guitar recording. And for that, if I can get you to plug your guitar into channel two, and if I can get you to play along from the top, it's going to be a count of eight. Slide into my world uh, Cause I need a bit of clothes now Girl, it's been way too long Since my hands outlined your curves Can't you come back Cause you know that when we It's great, and so once again I'm going to trim the front off, nudge it back And drag it down to a playback track I'll Go ahead and mute these incoming audio tracks here so that's it. That's the basics of my remote recording workflow. I've tried to keep this video pretty short and concise. Um, if you have any follow-up questions, please feel free to get in touch on socials. Again, all of the software I've used is in the description below. And uh, happy recording. I did it, I did the thing with the hand. <laughs>